Hi friends, so here is the another video which describes about the silomo ducts and in next video we will discuss the next. So silomo ducts are derived from the mesoderm and they are formed from the silome and they open out of the body through a genital pores and they open into the silome through the ciliated funnels called the silomo stome. So figure describes it better that is the ciliated funnels also known as the silomo stomes open into the siloms while the uh, silomo duct uh, also known as protonephridium opens out of the body surface genital through a genital pore and there is a solenocytes and the enlarged view of the solenocytes uh, include the solenocytes ducts protonephridial tube flagella lumen of the protonephridial tubule so nephridia are the excretory structure with cilia arranged repeatedly in all segments and the um, the open out uh, on the body wall through the nephridio pores and open into the siloms through a funnel like nephrostomes it may be the protonephridia metanephridia and there are so many types of the nephridia so here is a picture of the septanephridia in ferritima posthuma uh, also known as the earthworm in which the distal limb of the twisted limb, limb uh, proximal limb of the twisted uh, twisted loop nephridial tube terminal duct, ciliated funnel electrostrom, straight lo loop and outer loop mouth. So next is the nephromyxia. If um, nephridia and the silomoducts are united, it forms a nephromyxia. Through these excretory matter and the reproductive bodies are liberated. And these are of the three types that is protonephromyxia, metanephromyxia and the mixonephridium that is also known as nephromyxium. So ciliated organs are also present and here is a picture all of the one uh, nef uh, nephridia and they are different types so in next video we will see the malpigian tubules and their figure so thank you keep watching